Alright, Shalom, Yasharala, back at it again with another vlog with it at a fine video. The spirit and the power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. We still guard us to the highways and byways and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel, and Shalom, La Bacharium, Wa Barakim, Shayashirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the Alashim Gwadash, the Hebrew tongue. And uh, pretty much the lesson is going to be called The Lord is Taking Away the Mirth, man. The mirth of this place that it once had, man, is gone, man. All praises to you. How about Shimei Osha for that, man? You know? The Lord is about to bring judgment. You know? So the first scripture we're going to start off with. Let's see. Uh, let's go to the book of Hosea first. Let's go to the book of Hosea. The second chapter. Let me see. Uh, yep, this is the book of Hosea. Chapter 2, verse 11. In the reads, uh, this is the Lord speaking to Heavenly Father Yahweh, right? It says, I will all you see, I will also cause all her mirth to cease. Her feast days, her new moons, and her Sabbaths, and all her solemn feasts. Exactly. See, this is what Yahweh Shemiah Shah did back then, and this is what the Lord is doing now, man. You know, the Lord is taking away the mirth, man. All the mirth is, is, is ceasing, man. You know, you see everybody, you know what I'm saying? You know, brothers do live like, you know, back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Back in the early 2000s, you know, I'm a little young. You know, back in the early 2000s, man, hey, around this time, man, it, it was popping, man. You see what I'm saying? Around the Christmas season, holiday season, man. You know, you speak, man, people everywhere, you know? But now it, it's, 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 it's dead, man. And who is doing that? Yahaba Shimmy Shah. Who the world even calls God is Jesus Christ, man. You know, they're the one that's making the mirth to, to, to cease, man, which needs to stop. You know? I'm going to read this one more time. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 2, verse 11. I will also cause all her mirth to cease. Her feast days, her new moons, and her Sabbaths, and all her solemn feasts. Right, y'all, Bashim, y'all, did it back then, and the Lord is doing it now, man. You know, and the word mirth, when you look into it, right, uh, it goes back to the Hebrew word shash, it means shashawan. Yeah, shashawan, which means cheerfulness, gladness, joy, rejoicing. You see what I'm saying? You know, that's what the Lord is taking away, man. You know, it says uh, extor, extortation. Yeah, extor, extortation. E X U L T A T. I O N. You know, I probably said that completely wrong. It says a feeling of great happiness and excitement. Exactly. See? So that's what Yahweh Shimmy Asha is taking away, man. And it's a beautiful thing, you know. Yahweh Shimmy Asha is bringing the prophecies to pass, man. That starting off what I had apostles and elders of Great Millstone all down, been prophesying for years, man. Decades, you know. So this is the book of Jeremiah, the seventh chapter, uh, verse 34. This is the book of Jeremiah 7, verse 34. Now I will cause to cease from the cities of Judah and from the streets of Jerusalem the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness. I just read that one of the definitions was gladness, right? The voice of bridegroom, the voice of the bride for the land shall be desolate now what land in this time is going to be desolate man america you know so you know you tie this in right on with america man you know because the lord is taking away the cease uh of our people you know what i'm saying that's in that that that, that folly spirit you know the voice of uh the, all these marriages and 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 all the folly and madness that's being uh promoted here man how about Shimei Asha is taking that away? Ain't nobody in the Christmas spirit, man. You know, Halloween was dead. Uh, Thanksgiving was dead. The 4th of July was dead. You know what I'm saying? How about Shimei Asha is taking away the mirth, man? 
the excitement, the rejoicing, man, the partying. You see what I'm saying? Now, you, of course, our people are still going to find a way to do their wickedness, of course, because our people are wise to do evil. You know what I'm saying? But so far as a, a, a how should I say, like a, 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 a what's the word? Uh, as an extravaganza, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a big celebration, you know, that, that's all That's all coming to naught, man. You know? So now we're going to go to Jeremiah, the 16th chapter, verse 9. This is the book of Jeremiah 16, verse 9. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, which means the Lord of armies, right? The power of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? And you are like foreigners, according to the CDO fathers. Behold, I will cause to cease out of this place in your eyes and in your days the voice of mirth. Yeah, being in all that partying spirit, man. You know, that rejoicing, just, just um, off the, uh, the drugs, which is called the Babylon juice, man. You know how you got that term now that you got the uh, that lean? You see that purple Sprite? Yeah, that, that, that's Babylon juice right there, man. Get you all bugged out of your mind. And the reads, and the voice of gladness, and the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, man. So no more, no more happy, and no more that that, 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 that folly, jolly spirit, man. You know? As a matter of fact, let's get Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. Let's see here. Let's go straight to the point. Um, where is it at? Uh, my fact, I start from uh, verse 4. This is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes 3, verse 3. No, verse 4. A time to weep and a time to laugh. Right, we're in a time of weeping right about now. There's countless of videos where people just being... Uh, just crying on camera, man, saying, oh, I wish everything would go back to normal, man. I, I can't live like this. I can't do this. You know what I'm saying? Bro, we in them times, man. Evil times. Bad times. It's, it's, it's a time to laugh. Yeah, it's our time to laugh now. You see what I'm saying? You know, through the spirit part, yeah, how about you, shot? The Lord said we was going to do that in the Proverbs, the first chapter, man. I will laugh at your calamity and I will mock when your fear cometh. The Lord is going to do that through his men, the servants, the prophets. And it reads, uh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. Exactly. See, you know, we're in a time of mourning right about now, man. You know, these people out here, man. Hey, listen, listen, man. <laughs> you know, hey, they're definitely in the morning state. Now, of course, we're in the morning state, too, because we're still in hell. We're still in captivity. But, the, the, you know, the Lord is slowly but surely, you know, lifting up them curses, man. You know, and putting upon the majority of these people that's wicked. You know? It, it says, in a time to dance. You know? That's ultimately, that's going to be in the kingdom. Let's see, verse 6. A time to get and a time to lose. Exactly. See? You know? A time to get and a time to lose, man. These people got all the riches, the money, the fame. They got all that party, and then now the Lord is taking that away, man. Like Job said in the Job, the first chapter, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, man. And there is uh, a time to keep. Well, hold on. Yeah, a time to keep and a time to cast away. Exactly, see? You know? And it says, uh, uh, matter of fact, I'll keep going. It's a time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Exactly. See, when we're in a time of speaking, speaking what? The prophecies, right? Verse 8, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. Exactly. See, we're in a time of war right now. So that 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 Murphy, that Murphy spirit is, is out of here, man. You know, you got that, uh, that, 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 that Maxine, that jab, man, you know, that's putting all types of hell on people, man, from taking it. Hey, listen, man. The Lord is taking away the mirth, man. You know? It is beautiful. So, uh, so 2021 is definitely going to be one hell of a year that the men of the Lord are looking forward to, man. So, now, let's see here. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 4. The heart of the wise, which means the mind of the wise, is in the house of mourning. Right, and that's us. I knocked out ahead of Apostles and Elders of the Great Millstone, man. We're, we're in the house of mourning, man. You know? 
And the reason we're in the time we're in the uh, 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 in seriousness, man. You know, and the reason and the, but the heart of fools or the minds of fools is in the house of mirth. Exactly. See, you know, although the Lord is putting all types of uh, uh, signs that our people need to repent, they're not doing it, man. They still want to party. They still want to twerk. They still want to do all type of folly. You know what I'm saying? But hey, guess what? That's the lot. Though. The lot is for them is destruction, man. You know. So, uh, yep. Let me see. Let me read. Let me see. Okay, con, con, con. Um, I think I got one more. Let me go to Second Edges fifteen, and then I'm gonna close it out. This is the book of Second Edges fifteen, verse. Uh, let me see. What is it? This is the book of Second Edges 15 and verse uh, 13. This is the book of Second Edges 15 and 13. They that till the ground shall mourn. Right. Going to agri agriculture, man. You know, the crops are dying, man. You know, for their seed shall fail through the blasting in hell and with a fearful constellation. Exactly. See? So, hey, because you know, you know, once the crops die, you know, there's no food coming. And if there's no food coming, that's going to be what a famine, you know, which is that's what one of the things that the Lord is bringing, man. You know, <clears throat> so Lord's will now is edifying to next time I say shallow one.